first thing we're going to talk about today is our five lines of defense. Okay, I know there is a lot of different theories on this and every coach has their, their own idea and their own concepts on, on how that should be approached. And I'm here today to share with you what I think and my opinion and what I found successful through my journey, through my, my, my Olympic journey so far and my coaching journey as well. Okay, five lines of defense. Here's what we're starting with. Number one, to me, the most important thing is using our hands, right? It's called hand fighting after all. Um, a lot of, if you watch a lot of high level wrestlers, you're going to see that they want immediately to make contact with their opponent so they can feel where they're going, what they're doing, so there are no surprises while we're wrestling, okay? So when we're in our stance, as soon as we shake hands and as soon as the match begins, I immediately want to put my hand on him, okay? Whether it's on the head, whether it's on the shoulder, usually the head is the closest thing to me, right? So as soon as we shake hands, I want to put my hand on his head. Now, the way I explain this with, with, with when I first started teaching this, okay, when the way I explain this with, even with little kids, okay, I coach some seven and eight year old kids and I start teaching them this. And the first thing that I, the, the first thing I use to compare this to is, is this, okay, if we're in our stand, right, and we're about to start wrestling, and if I were to close my eyes and I can't see anything, okay, now, will I be able to feel what he's doing, where he's going, and where he's attacking me from? Is he lowering his level? Is he standing up? What's happening, right? If I close my eyes, I would have no idea where he's going, right? I can, I'll be completely lost. I'll end, I'll end up getting blast double, you know, outside of the map, okay? So what I want to do is I immediately want to put my hands on him. And this is the, the comparison I use, okay? If I put one finger on his head, only one finger, Okay, and I close my eyes now, okay, and I'm going to have Joe here move when I close my eyes and see if I can feel what he's doing, where he's going. Okay, so I'm closing my eyes and I'm going to have one finger on him. Okay, so move slow. Okay, as you can see, I have a lot better of an idea where he's going and that's with my eyes closed, right? Imagine if I can see and have and feel. Right now we're using two senses that are very, very important. There is going to be a lot less surprise here. Okay, I'm, he's not going to be able to surprise me. I'm going to feel exact and see exactly where he's going. And my chances of being surprised here by him are a lot, lot less. Right, they're slim, slim. Okay, so again, we're going to be on our stance. First thing that we're going to do, as soon as we shake hands, I want to touch. Okay, uh, I'm going to touch with one hand. Touch right here, whether it's this one or this one. Okay, now, step number two, line of defense number two. If he were to beat my hand, okay, and there's a couple ways he can do that. He can snap or he can peel, right? Um, if we're here, he can snap, peel, yeah, sorry, okay. So snap number one, right? He can peel, right? Whatever it may be, it doesn't really matter. As soon as he does that, I still want to have contact with him. So what I'm going to do is my number two line of defense. I immediately am going to close the gap and go forehead to forehead with him. I'm gonna use my head as a second line of defense and offense for that matter. Okay, so we're here, he peels, I immediately close in, and now I can feel him with my head as I'm hand fighting down here trying to free my arm, right? I'm gonna use my head, okay? Now, step number three, arms. Imagine he beats step number one. I close the, the distance, the gap, okay? And he beats step number two, and now he's trying to get in. I'm gonna use my arms immediately to block, okay? Whether it's under, whether I go under hook, whether I post here, whatever it may be, my arms are gonna get immediately in the way. He's gonna have to get through my arms to get in on me, okay? Step number four, hips. We're gonna use our hips. There's two ways we can use our hips, okay? Step number one, and, and depending on what you've been taught, right? Depending on what your defense is, once guys get to your legs, right? A lot of us are first taught how to sprawl, you know? React as fast as you can, sprawl, heavy hips, shoelaces on the mat, right? Because that's the easiest concept to understand and just getting away from them, right? But sometimes actually it's more effective to, to face him, to kill the momentum, to feed him the hips is what I call it, okay? So as soon as he's getting in, we hit with the hips to kill the momentum and then we end up sprawling, okay? It's gonna be a lot harder for him to follow and stay with me. So here's what this looks like, the kill the momentum and sprawl, okay? So if he's shooting, just go ahead and shoot, let's say, um, a high crotch, okay? 
on this side. Yeah, I'm gonna kill, kill the momentum, okay? Feed him the hips, and then immediately, number two here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprawl, okay? It's gonna be a lot harder for him to drive through when I kill that initial, initial momentum, that initial momentum forward that he's got going, okay? So, again, step number one, we shake hands, we post. He beats that somehow. Step number two, close the gap is we're hand fighting here, okay? If you were to shoot, step number three, use my arms, right? Use my arms to get in the way. If he beats my arms, somehow they get out, okay? Kill the momentum with step number four, sprawl, okay? And step number five now is tricks, moves, technique, um, anything that we got there that, that you've been taught uh, would come into play now on step number five, okay? So again, the five steps are, step number one, once you get in your sense, you're gonna use your hands, okay? You're gonna touch immediately, okay? That way you have two senses that you're using, not just your eyes, right? We're feeling as well. Step number two, we're gonna use our head. We're gonna block with our forehead, okay? We're gonna get really strong here, and we're gonna use our forehead to block and follow where he's going. You know, we're gonna mirror his, his stance, if he's lowering, we're gonna lower with him. If he's going to the left, we'll go with the left. If he's going right, we'll go with the right. We're always blocking with our head. Number three, our arms. We're gonna use our arms to stop him, get in the way, block um, however we can, okay? Step number four, hips. We're gonna feed him the hips, kill the momentum, sprawl, and uh, hopefully we we'll beat him there with the number four line of defense. And if not, he's super strong, right? He's done a super good job of setting up his shot, getting in and squeezing and driving through. We're gonna use our step number five, which is technique, tricks, um, anything that we know uh, as far as skill set goes uh, for defense, okay? I hope that makes sense. And uh, let's go on to what's next.